I'm going to look at a distinguished geologist, Frank Rhodes, who served as president of Cornell University from 1977 to 1995. And he made this point about multiple levels using the analogy of a boiling kettle. And he asked us to imagine a kettle on a gas ring, and the kettle is boiling. And here is his question, why is the kettle boiling? And Rhodes notes that two different types of explanation might be given at different levels. At the scientific level, energy is being supplied. The gas is burning, it exudes heat, it raises the temperature of the water to its boiling point, and that is unquestionably an explanation. Yet Rhodes makes the point there is another answer which can be given, and it's at a very different level. He writes, the kettle is boiling because I put it on to make a cup of tea. So my question to you is, which of these answers is right? Let's listen to Rhodes' own assessment of the situation and see if you agree. Now these, i.e. gas burning, wanting a cup of tea, are different answers, but both are true. Both are complementary and not competitive. One answer is appropriate within a particular frame of reference, the other within another frame of reference. There's a sense in which each is incomplete without the other. Now, Rhodes' basic point is that both answers can be right because they are concerned with different levels of reality. He affirms what he calls a complementarity of description, which tries to capture at least something of the total picture of reality. So just to make this point one more time. Gas is burning, is that right as an explanation? Yes, it is. But does that being right mean the second explanation, wanting a cup of tea, is wrong? Rhodes' point is no. These are each partial explanations, and they build up to give a richer picture, a richer explanation of what we're talking about. 